80% of people will have HPV at some point in their lives. Both boys and girls have cancers that can be caused by HPV when they grow up. Which include head and neck cancers, cervical cancers, genital cancers and anal cancers. HPV cancers are on the rise. They have actually doubled in the last two decades. So it's important that we engage with all communities. I kind of had this sense that something was wrong. The world just fell apart. You never think you're going to hear those words, but you do. I think having cancer tests you to your limits. My husband John was my greatest support. He couldn't help me at all, apart from look after me. One of my friends is uh, an ENT consultant, and he was the person who diagnosed me, so I'm eternally grateful. My cancer was caused by the HPV virus, so I'm passionate about getting the word out there. 700,000 people a year are diagnosed with HPV-related cancers worldwide. The only thing that's going to stop this rise in HPV-related cancers is to get vaccinated. It's really important for parents to sign the HPV consent forms. I will sign the HPV consent form for future generations. I will definitely be signing for her to have the HPV vaccine. I would definitely sign for the future generations. I will sign it for my two girls. I've already done it and I urge you to do the same. By the end of the century, you hope that these cancers will be history. Preventing cancer beats curing it. Sign along the line. Sign away cancer. <laughs>